All right, so good afternoon, everyone, and thank you again for joining us for our final session in our Canadian Innovation Virtual Launch Con Conference. I'm sure you've all been on maybe one or two other sessions and you've heard me say the same thing before, but I'll go ahead and just mention a few housekeeping items. Um, so as mentioned, this is our very last session, um, but not to worry, if you've missed out on any of our past sessions we posted earlier in this week, we'll be sharing the recordings with you. So without further ado, I'll pass things over to our presenters to get us started. Thank you so much, Sarah. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending this breakout session on becoming a SOLIDWORKS professional for free and how to get SOLIDWORKS certified. I'm Alexis Hapers, Training and Customer Success Manager. Our presenters today are Alex Keston, Director of Human Resources, Operations and Subscriptions, and Salatine Chaudhry, Training and Customer Success Manager. Today, we'll provide an overview of our subscription services. Then we'll talk about getting SOLIDWORKS certified for free. We'll discuss our many training offerings and how these solutions accelerate innovation and overcome disruption. Lastly, there will be time at the end of the presentation for questions and answers. So without further ado, I'll pass it to Alex Keston to speak about CAD Micro Solutions and subscription services. Thank you, Alexis. I'd like to start off by saying how proud we are to have so many colleagues that are part of our committee not just the CAD Microsolutions community, but a global SOLIDWORKS community as a whole. SOLIDWORKS had a great 2019. Over 65% of all 3D CAD licenses purchased were per globally were that of SOLIDWORKS. We now have over 6 million designers and engineers as part of our community worldwide. And as members of this community, you have a unique opportunity to distinguish yourselves as leaders through our certification program, which is a value add we provide to you with your SOLIDWORKS subscription. In Canada, our strategy as a SOLIDWORKS partner has been to get as close to our customers as possible. This year, we expanded our team by 25% and opened up offices in Vancouver, Calgary, and Montreal to add to our existing two offices in Ontario. Our strategy is to become Canada's most trusted provider solid provider of SOLIDWORKS for complementary industry 4.0 technology from coast to coast. We thank all of you for your tremendous support and input over the years, which has been an instrumental part of our growth. The CAD micro customer community has never been stronger. As the director of our subscriptions program, I know that every person at CAD micro sees themselves as part of our service team. With your support, we had a big win at the 2019 3D Experience World in Nashville. We were awarded the Elite 190 Club, so thank you from all of us here at CAD Micro. Before I turn it over to my colleague Salentine, let's review why over 94% of you continue to keep your SOLIDWORKS licenses on active subscription. What we have learned and what we have seen is that customers that keep their licenses on subscription are more productive, more innovative, and more successful. Subscription is an investment that ensures you can maximize your investment on maximize your return on investment. As the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem grows and your SOLIDWORKS implementations become dramatically more complex, adding ERP integrations, digital and additive manufacturing, integrated electrical and mechanical design, metrology, and all the other 4.0 solutions, we believe subscription support has never been more relevant and impactful for your bottom line. Some of the many perks of being on subscription gives you entitlement to automatic upgrades for your licensed SOLIDWORKS software, including service packs every six weeks that in address important issues reported by you, the SOLIDWORKS community, immediate tech support, which includes in-person, email, and telephone assistance, helping with product features, installations, troubleshooting, and more for all prior and current releases of SOLIDWORKS software. You also have the additional functionality of SOLIDWORKS Visualize and SOLIDWORKS CAM. You have access to mysolidworks.com. Here you can connect with relevant SOLIDWORKS content and services in one location. Subscription service customers have access to over a thousand training videos, as well having access to the SOLIDWORKS customer portal, where you have full access to information and resources to help improve productivity. A few additional benefits included with your subscription are both MCAD and ECAD walk-in clinics, complimentary annual upgrade training, free credits to become SOLIDWORKS certified with free exam preparation material and tutorials. 
I'll now pass it over to Salatine, who will discuss further the training benefits you receive and how to become SOLIDWORKS certified while on subscription. Thank you, Alex. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, so now we're going to be talking about the SOLIDWORKS certification exam process uh, that comes for free with your uh, SOLIDWORKS subscription. Um, so we have three different types of exams that comes uh, for free with your subscription service. Uh, the first one being the core exams where we have the CSWA and CSWP in mechanical design. Uh, next on the list, we have uh, the advanced topics and then we have the specialty topics that you can choose from. Um, so we just subscription service, uh, you have three exam coupons that come free for every six months of the year. What that means is uh, you get to choose one free core exam one free advanced exam and one specialty exams every six months of the year. The redemption period basically starts uh, at the beginning of the year at January 1st ends on June 30th and the second period starts from July 1st and uh, goes up till uh, December 31st. Uh, what that means is uh, you have two uh, halves of the year where you can redeem those exam codes uh, but the question people ask mostly is what if they do not use uh, their exam coupons for the first half of the year? Can they carry over any of the exam codes? Uh, the answer is no, you would have to redeem codes as they come and if you do not redeem them during the uh, period, they expire. Um, another thing people ask about the redemption is, uh, you know, if they redeem the code, uh, how long is it valid for? So the redemption period is valid for 180 days. After that, if you do, if you have redeemed your coupon but haven't taken the exam, it will expire and you would have to wait for the next free exam coupon that come in the next half of the year. Okay, um, so the other thing people ask is, you know, how do they redeem their free coupons? Um, for that, we have a very uh, good detailed step-by-step -step guide on our website. So you can go to cadmicro.com and on the top section uh, side where the blog section is, you can search for how to get SOLIDWORKS certified for free. It is a step-by-step -step guide on how do you redeem your free coupons that comes with your subscription service. Um, okay, another thing people ask, um, how do they prepare for the uh, certification exams? SOLIDWORKS recommends uh, taking a certain level of uh, SOLIDWORKS training courses or having a certain level of experience to be able to easily pass these exams. Um, let's take a, as an example the CSWA mechanical design exam. Uh, as shown on the screen, the recommended training courses from SOLIDWORKS are uh, the SOLIDWORKS tutorials and SOLIDWORKS essentials for this specific course. Like this, all the other uh, certification exams have a certain level of uh, recommended training courses that can be viewed on SOLIDWORKS website. Um, so the training courses uh, that are needed for these certification exams are offered by CAD Micro Solutions and we're going to be talking about them next. All right, so um, in order to uh, prepare for the certification exams or do training in general, CAD Micro Solutions offer all the certified SOLIDWORKS training courses, ranging from the basic SOLIDWORKS Essentials course uh, to anywhere uh, SOLIDWORKS Advanced Drawing, Sheet Metal, Mold Design, and also the courses in the Simulation and SOLIDWORKS Electrical. So the training can be done in two different ways. Uh, the first one being, uh, you can attend a class where attendees from different companies join a single session or the other option is doing custom training specific for your company where you can have even examples specified to your design process lastly people ask you know if they have been using SOLIDWORKS for a long time why would they need to do the training they already know everything about it so one thing we have found from our customer is uh, doing uh, knowing the SOLIDWORKS for the past five six years but doing these trainings, it has helped them to increase their productivity, reduce design time, saving them crucial hours. So the best practices taught during these courses help actually help our customers uh, to improve their productivity. And the testimonials on our website uh, show how it has helped our customers in their specific areas of interest. Lastly, um, if you uh, want to know all about our next upcoming events, and training sessions, you can go to our website calendar at cadmicrosolutions or cadmicro.com slash calendar, and you can view the calendar for any upcoming events and training sessions. Now I will pass it over to Sarah. Thank you everyone for your time. Great, thank you, Salatine. Uh, we do have a quick poll question. We just wanna to get to know the audience a little bit better. Um, so you'll see the poll up on your screen. The first question we have for you is, are you currently on subscription? 
So I'll give you a few minutes to vote and then I'll share the responses. Just a few more seconds and then I'll show. So it looks like 77% of you are currently on subscription, which is great. Uh, the next poll question I have here is, are you currently SOLIDWORKS certified? So again, you have a few seconds to vote. And it looks like almost 70% of you are not SOLIDWORKS certified. So I'm very glad you joined the session. <laughs> Um, so that's awesome. Thank you guys for, for responding. That was great. And now we are going to move into our poll, our, our Q&A section. Um, so we do have some questions already in the queue. As mentioned, we are giving away a prize. So if you do have any questions, shoot them to us now and you'll be entered for um, a chance to win the Ecobee Smart Thermostat. But I'll go ahead and get started with what I currently have. So the first question is, what happens if my assets if my asset has lapsed on subscription, can I get back on? Yes, you can reinstate any lapsed asset at any time. There's a SOLIDWORKS reinstatement policy that does apply. These are backdating fees that are calculated for the amount of time that the asset has been off subscription up to a maximum of 36 months plus the one year renewal cost going forward. If you are in need of upgrading to the latest version, require any technical support, or any of the other benefits that come with being on subscription, please connect with anyone at, at CAD Micro. Amazing. Thank you, Alex. Uh, the next question I have is, is the CSWA a prerequisite for the CSWP, or can they both be done in any order? The exams can be done in any order. There are no prerequisites. If you have more experience, you can skip the CSWA or the associate's exam and do the CSWP, the professional exam, which is more advanced. Awesome, thank you. Uh, so we do have a few questions here um, from the audience and I think might be beneficial for you guys. So um, are there three vouchers per seat or per company? Yep. So the three vouchers are per seat. Uh, if you have more seats, uh, you can redeem more vouchers. And at the same time, the three vouchers that come with one seat, they don't have to be used by one single person. People can share them amongst themselves. Great, thank you, Salatine. Uh, next question I have here is, why should I purchase subscription services? Enrolling in subscription services, it helps you to get the most out of your SOLIDWORKS software. While it does give you the access to the latest product releases and technical support, it will also save you time and money with improved software performance, innovative new product features to help you focus on what matters most, which is designing and manufacturing great products. Amazing, thank you. Um, I do have uh, one question for you, Salatine. Um, are the courses instructor-led or self-taught online? So uh, most of our, uh, so we, the courses that we do uh, from, from the certified training list of courses, they are instructor led. Uh, however, they can be done in different uh, formats where uh, in the past we would do it in the class at our facilities in Cambridge and Toronto, but due to COVID we are running them online. But again, same interactive uh, sessions. Instructor would go online, interact with the students, asking uh, questions back and forth and helping them with their examples during the course. Awesome, thank you. Next question is, if someone is not on subscription services, how much are the exams? Um, it depends on which exam. All the exams range from about $20 to $150. Uh, the core exams are typically $100 each, uh, but these are in US funds. Okay, great. Um, next question. What is the customer portal? The customer portal is a web-based hub for SOLIDWORKS resources, including the latest versions of SOLIDWORKS software and service pack updates, a wide knowledge base of information and technical documents. You have the ability to make enhancement requests. You also can view any of your own service requests, edit your customer profile, and you can even participate in moderated discussion forums. 
Awesome, thank you. Um, uh, one last question uh, for Salatine here. Are there pra practice exams from CAD Micro or SOLIDWORKS available? So it depends. Uh, if you are doing the training, uh, the course content that's given with the, the training uh, course, uh, there are examples from uh, SOLIDWORKS. Uh, over the time, our instructor, you know, uh, have developed some practice examples that can be taught during the training courses. But everything is overall uh, being followed by the course course outlines given up by SOLIDWORKS. Fantastic. Well, thank you all uh, for your presentation. That was fantastic. And thank you to everyone for joining us. That is the end of this uh, a session. And it is actually the end of our entire um, Enabling Canadian Innovation Virtual Conference. Any questions we did not get to today, uh, we'll definitely reach out to you afterwards and have someone help you out there. Um, and we hope to see you all again very soon at some of our uh, other sessions that we'll be having next month. And don't forget to keep an eye out for that survey I mentioned for a chance to win some prizes for you and your team. So thank you all again, and thank you for joining us for our whole series and have a great rest of your day.